as you can see in this cost function if y equals to 1 we have this particular function that is negative logarithm of h of theta x so basically it's this blue line and when we have y equals to 0 the cost function in turn this part becomes minus logarithm of 1 minus h of theta x and that is this red line now let's combine all of these equations to form one whole equation and then we can just input the value of y as 1 or 0 and get the output so this is the compressed equation if y equals to 0 this part of the term cancels out and if y equals to 1 you can see that this part of the equation will cancel out and in both cases we'll only be performing the operations that we need to perform and just like we did in linear regression we'll perform gradient descent here as well on our cost function so our cost function is this equation as we saw previously and our aim is to minimize this cost function we'll keep on updating the weights till we get convergence